there so what if you have a video that you posted on Facebook or YouTube or on your blog that's too long to share to LinkedIn or Twitter and you want to share it everywhere but you want to have native content so you're going to go and edit them and create them and do it all separately no we're going to do it really easily with the syndication engine so for example we go to the site we create an account and then we uh, actually create a new series we're just going to do that this is you do it one time right every time you do in a new video you don't have to do this so we'll call it a uh, success with Aaron Birch all right we go next we're just going to leave that by default we're going to see new syndication so we're going to episode one we're going to call this the 90s are calling uh well let's not put that okay next step and then we put the url of the video so in this case it's a facebook video we just put that there it could be a blog page or something right on the video itself we just do that it'll download the video and once the video is downloaded to the system which doesn't take too too long we're going to see that happening right there I'm going to pause the video we'll be right back when it's done so that was pretty quick right so there you go so now we have the video on here and let's say I wanted the screenshot to be right about here at the 1327 mark so 1327 I click on next step and I paste the text in here from the actual description so if you had a blog post for example you would put your blog post in there right so let's just take this text from here paste that in there click on the finish and then you click the generate assets and it starts to generate the assets so as you can see they're pending now some of them are processing uh the ones that are available in a second there you go this one's ready so you can go we can go look at it so I'm going to pause the video again I'll be right back when this is done so now it's done as you can see they're all done so now what we do is we generate the zip file we just click on that again that takes just a few moments we'll be right back when it's done you get a download zip you click on that you save it to your local computer and I'm just going to put it in downloads right here I'm just going to save it and it's going to start downloading it it doesn't take too much time but we'll be right back it's done so now that it's done you can actually go open it or I'm just going to say show in folder right we're going to load it up and we're going to look at what it looks like with all the rest of the stuff I have on my computer let's just go I just open it up and you have all the files in here that you can now use to host to the different platforms so you got you got um, trim five minute a two minute you could have a 10 minute you could have all sorts of different things podcast thumbnail a gif uh, wave audio for for podcasting so it's all ready for you to just post to those platforms now you have all these files in your computer that you can use to post but you can also go look at what they look like all of these right we can just click right on the for example the gif image I can click on that and I can see it's a little gif that you can put in your emails right or for example the uh the trim video if I click on this it'll actually just play it right in the browser and you can save as if you want all right but so guess what right here let's turn the sound off this is the video and if I go near the end you'll see that it kind of fades away to nothing the video goes to black and the sound goes to nothing right so that's the trim video so that you can use in say the two minute one for Twitter posts right uh the other one is the audio obviously if you click on this you can get the actual audio all file, right which is a so guess audio file of the video and yeah so that's what you get to do with the syndication engine hopefully this cleared up how to use it